Hi Leo, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button, which is on the bottom left hand side of the video, so that any future readings that I post. So let's get started. Cards dropping everywhere here. All right, Leo, so I do have uh, some air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We do have a little bit of um, Earth here, which is uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have a lot of swords, a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I do have some fire here, which is uh, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries energy. We have cups here, some water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, Leo, so the underlining reading, uh, the underlining energy of the reading here is the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, okay? So the Queen of Cups is all about intuition, empathy, taking care of the people around her. Um, so, you know, I feel like you've reached a point with your person that you're really starting to lean on your intuition with them as much as you love them as much as you care about them you're starting to focus more on your intuition than than anything else okay um so we have the queen of swords here which is uh air gemini libra aquarius energy um so this is someone who has cut their emotions out of the picture they're now using their mind to um handle situations and this is being clarified by the Ten of Swords, okay? So the Ten of Swords is like everything comes crashing down so that something new can begin, Leo, okay? So maybe there was some type of separation, some type of... Um, uh, you know, just your intuition is telling you that some, telling you that something needs to come down. And again, this can be vice versa also. So I do, I do see some separation here. Um, but that also means that something new is going to come out of it, okay? So we have the Queen of Wands here, which is fire. So that can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, which is um, clarified by the Six of Swords. Uh, and Swords is, uh, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So the Queen of Wands is, you know, no nonsense. She's very fiery, very passionate. Um, you know, she does represent, you know, a lot of fertility, a very, very uh, strong woman. Okay, so Wands and the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords here is, you know, a very strong person. And the, um, the Six of Swords here represents that you want to go into calmer waters okay so you may have there may have been a separation because it was becoming too toxic and you wanted to you wanted to go towards calmer waters you wanted to go to you know you needed peace in your life and you needed to move away okay now i do have the page of pentacles here okay so the page of pentacles does represent a message coming in uh maybe an apology because we see here it's clarified by the two of cups okay so maybe this person your person is going to be coming back towards you with an apology um you know offering deeper commitment offering you know a lot of love you know maybe an engagement a marriage proposal um uh, moving in together they're going to come back towards you leo okay and again this can be vice versa so i do have the king of cups here which it can be um water energy cancer scorpio pisces and that is being clarified by um the eight of swords okay so the king of cups is like mr hubby he's he's great you know uh, relationship material so obviously you know leo you do see your person as um you know, you do see them as good relationship material, but I'm not sure what happened, but something needed to end in this relationship. Uh, something definitely needed to end because this person, your person was making you feel trapped, out of place, unable to be yourself. Um, you know, maybe you felt like things were happening behind your back, secrets, okay? Because, um, you know, th this is not a good feeling here. And this is probably what caused everything to fall, okay? But I do see that this is, you know, you do have a soul me card here i do see that you know you two love each other very much but something did need to end see we have the moon here which is secrets okay we also have the you know being clarified by the high priestess um so this is both of these cards represent you know secrets um the unknown using your intuition you, you're something in your intuition um as soon as i saw this card here i knew it was going to be something with intuition like you you felt it strongly in your gut that something was going on behind your back okay and that's probably what made everything fall all right now here we have 
the Queen of Swords being clarified by the devil. Okay, again, you know, the devil could represent cheating, third party situation. Um, it can represent addiction, passion, obsession, um, you know, possibly even physical abuse. Okay, so something got really bad here, Leo. Something really came to a head. There was a separation. You moved on to, you know, calmer waters because you couldn't deal with the toxicity anymore. This person did make you feel trapped and just unloved and, and out of place. Um, but I do feel that ultimately deep down inside you do love each other it's just these secrets had to come out that this whole situation had to come into play now we have the queen of wands being uh being clarified by the magician okay so again the magician is um you know you having strength willpower you manifested this to come out because your intuition was telling you so much that there was something happening so you know it, it's just you manifested this release this ending so that this way something new could begin Okay, you, you you brought this into play. This is something you prayed for, obsessed about. You wanted it to just happen, to release, so something new can start again. And of course, here we have the Page of Pentacles, which is Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, and the world being clarified by the world. So you have a message coming in, maybe an apology coming in from your person, from the soulmate, you know, offering to change, offering a deeper commitment, offering the love that you deserve. And this cycle is going to end. This devil cycle this this um devil energy whatever it was whether it was you know abusive behavior whether it was cheating whatever it was that caused this fall here okay is is coming to an end and a new successful cycle is going to start the world card is a beautiful card to have in your reading so we have the king of cups the king of cups clarifying the king of wands okay so this is Mr. Hubby type of king, okay? This is the, the, the you know, perfect hubby. And then here we have the Ace of Wands, which is a free spirit. It's someone that loves to communicate, someone that loves to travel the world. So we may have here, you know, a person that has a personality where they're like the perfect partner, but they want to go out too much. They want to party too much. They want to talk to other girls. They want to talk to other guys. They want to just mingle too much. And that, you know, Leo, you know, you're a Leo. You don't feel comfortable with that. You know, all, all attention has to be on, you know, on you. you. You want, you know, your crown. You want your pedestal. You want the attention at all times. So a king of wands energy is not going to work for you. You know, you need, um, you need, you know, to, to, to have that person next to you. You need to be the center of their world, not where they want to go out to the world and be worldly and talking and being popular with everybody else. You want that attention for yourself. So we have the moon here being clarified by the Ten of Wands. So again, we have fire energy here and um, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. So this card clarifying the moon tells me that whatever secret came out, whatever came out that you didn't know, it really weighed heavy on you, Leo. It really, 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 you know, you, even if it's you speaking your truth, okay, maybe the fact that, you know, you were feeling this way, okay, maybe the fact that you were so unhappy and you felt the need to move on to, to calmer waters is what caused this ruin. So whatever came out into the open, whether it be that you spoke your truth or a truth came out, a secret came out, you know, that really caused... Um, that really caused it everything to kind of fall apart. But I do feel like it's going to come together again, okay, because we have the world card here. It was a lot on you. It was a lot of strain on you. So here we have the uh, Ten of Swords being clarified by the Knight of Wands. Okay, and Wands is, um, you know, it is communication and Wands is a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. So, you know, somebody is going to be coming towards you, Leo. Either you're going towards somebody or somebody is going towards you. Um, so this person is... You know, your person either hurt you really bad, something happened, everything came crashing down, um, or you hurt them really bad and you're going to be going towards them, all right? Now, we have the Six of Swords being clarified by the King of Swords, okay? So, you may be moved on, want to go towards, you know more peaceful waters but this is being clarified by the king of swords so your person when you come back and and try to you know make this apology they may have their guard up they may have their guard up they may you know not be dealing with emotions because you just hurt them so badly and again this could be vice versa if someone left you I do have this energy where somebody hurt you and you left, Leo. You got really upset and you left. But you may regret that decision and you may want to go back to them and offer an apology, but they're going to have their guard up, 
okay they're gonna have their guard up um now we have the the two of cups being clarified by the four of swords so we have water energy here cancer scorpio pisces or we can be dealing with gemini libra aquarius energy here um so again i do feel like there was a separation that had to take break place you guys needed a breather from each other you needed some mental rest from each other you just needed a little bit of space from each other but again you do love each other very much all right i mean this is not you know you do love each other very much the eight of swords is being clarified by the two of pentacles so we have um you know gemini libra aquarius energy here and then we have our earth energy capricorn taurus virgo here so how i feel this plays out is you know you were feeling trapped you were feeling like things were unbalanced okay because remember like i said your person um you know is a is a great partner is a great mr hubby mrs wifey type but then again they have this side of them where they like to um you know, they like to mingle, they like to go out, they like to communicate with other people, they like to travel, they like to go places. And I feel like, you know, you felt trapped, you felt unhappy because they didn't know how to balance that. They didn't know how to balance you and this other side of them of wanting to go out and, and do other things. You know, they, they, they just needed to be more ba balanced there. Now, we have the High Priestess, which is... Um, the high priestess which is clarified by the nine of pentacles so this is virgo energy here so this I, I feel like this represents you leo this is someone who's very financially independent someone who's very stable somebody who's very intuitive someone who's very empathetic and then somebody who's financially well off so i feel like regardless to how this relationship pans out with your person um you're ultimately going to be okay as you can see she's in peace she's good she's fine she's she's okay okay so i feel like no matter how this pans out you're going to be okay okay but i mean i do feel like something is either happened or is going to happen it's all either going to come crashing down or it has come crashing down and when it does um either you know you are going to move on and and you know find something new um or you know you're going to repair it with this person okay i mean this is a reconciliation card so i do feel like you're going to reconcile with this person um but something had to come to an end this cycle this vicious cycle had to come to an end and now something new can begin so let's see what the romance angels have to say here but i, I can tell you this conflict this conflict is um i mean i can feel the energy it, it is pretty bad i mean between the ten of swords and the devil card there and the, the six of swords here you have a lot of swords a lot of conflict so this fight is going to be bad you know i mean this is going to be bad uh, i mean possibly to the point of physical abuse you know so this is gonna it's gonna really come to a head but you know when emotions happen like that it is because you know there is a lot of love so whatever you know whatever the situation was hopefully you guys can communicate and um you know hopefully you guys can communicate and uh and start a new beginning a more successful chapter in your relationship so here we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so here we have the devil and codependency leo so there may have been some type of addiction that happened maybe this person I don't know why I'm getting a strong physical abuse. So maybe this person became a little abusive towards you because they were either drunk or on drugs or something like that. But it could also be codependency. It could also be, you know, a sexual addiction. It could be anything, you know. So, But there is something very serious that ended up blowing up, all right? So here we have trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. Okay, so Leo, um, you know, when this person comes back to you and asks you for an apology, you are going to have to be ready to trust them. Okay, because especially with addictions, if this person's an alcoholic or a drug addict or a sex addict, it's always hard to trust somebody like that because addictions are serious. Okay, so you are going to have to know that if you take this person back, there is going to be trust. Then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, Leo, so when you walk away, when you walk away here to go to you know more peaceful waters i feel like you know you're going to be fine leo you know everything was so toxic with this person that you guys really needed the rest so you're going to be okay it's going to be like a rest and a reprieve for you so when they come back into play i mean you're going to have some reservations you know i mean you both have your swords up here so you guys are both you know maybe you love each other maybe you miss each other you guys are soulmates i do see reconciliation here um but you know it's been very trying for you this has been this this whole situation has really hurt you 
And when everything came down, it's going to happen suddenly. It came down quick. It, it was just like a huge, you know, hit. It was a huge hit here, okay? So you are going to have to really, you know, be this forgiving, kind, intuitive person. So I do see here the, the Three of Cups, you know, so we do have celebration, you know, hopefully reconciliation, celebration. Um, hopefully everything will work itself out. And see here, the underlining energy of this of this reading here for the uh, Romance Angels is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, all right, Leo? So this may be something that you're not, you know, used to dealing with okay but um i i do feel that ultimately you do love each other and if you can trust this person and um you know keep an open mind and believe in them and stand by them i i do believe that it can be a, a really beautiful soulmate connection okay it does say here your soulmate may differ from what you expect all right so i hope you enjoyed your reading leo um please be sure to click the like and the subscribe button okay take care